Happy to be joined by meteorologist Dustin Bonk, who's back with us now. And Dustin, you were telling me today could have been the last of our comfortable outdoor days for the year. Uh, well, it's always say hard to say <laughs> for the year, but at least for the foreseeable future, because mm -hmm. we have a couple of sunnier days in the seven day, but they're not going to be very warm. Right. And oh, we got rain to talk about, and Halloween is going to be really cold. It's a very up and down kind of a forecast. Yeah. But I would say if you missed the nice weekend, then you're out of luck. Oh no. <laughs> Next well. weekend's gonna be a lot colder. <laughs> so first off, to look at today's high temperatures though. It was beautiful out there. Highs all around, or at least almost all around, 60 degrees or warmer. Still a good five or six degrees cooler than it was yesterday, but we saw just as much sunshine. It was a beautiful day. Now it's clear out there, it's cooling down. 43 Lansing, 41 Jackson, already down to 35 currently in Marshall. That's the coolest spot right now. We won't be dropping down too much further. We're kind of clear right now with some clouds working their way in. Winds are calm as well, but over the next several hours towards morning, those winds are going to pick up out of the south, bring in some more of that warm air. But clear evening for now. Good night for stargazing for like a little while longer, but clouds over on the other side of the lake. A couple showers over the lake as well. We might see some of that, but not a whole lot. There's not really a really big rain chance into the overnight hours or even into the first half of Monday. Just a few showers possible. Meanwhile, temperatures are significantly warmer just off to our west. We have a cold spot right around the northern and eastern Great Lakes, but it's quickly going to be moving off. We've got that south wind, like I said, going to really bring in a lot more of that warm air. Meanwhile, around the nation, Nothing exciting going on. I mean, it's been like this for a couple of days. Look at how clear it is across a very large portion of the country here. But we're going to zoom in on a couple of spots. Here's off to the Pacific Northwest. A lot of unsettled weather, a lot of scattered rain, a lot of cloud cover as well. That's all part of a low pressure system making its way towards us. That's what's going to be giving us our rain chances for both Monday and Tuesday. Until then, though, closer to home for tonight, just a couple sprinkles around the area, and we might see a couple of those raindrops. Our rain chances more likely into, well, tomorrow morning, but especially tomorrow evening. Rain on the way. Warm Monday, however. Warm Monday, but it will be a little bit rainy. Not as much sunshine and cold Halloween. Let's talk about that rain. Monday and Tuesday, we have rain chances. Some thunder mixed in. It's actually going to be warm enough to fuel at least some moderate to weak thunder showers here. We're not expecting a whole lot of it. Monday evening and into early Tuesday, your most likely chances. But we could see a few of those early tomorrow. Let's have a look in our future track. High pressure overhead gave us a beautiful weekend, but it's gone. Meanwhile, clouds working their way in overnight. Here are those showers closer to the earlier parts of your workday tomorrow. Moving on in, the greater chances for rain tomorrow in the daytime will be north of mid-Michigan. I'm expecting a lot of showers to our north, but we will only catch just a few of those isolated showers in the morning hours, maybe early afternoon. Then we'll probably catch a break as the warm front itself passes, but after 8 p.m., then more scattered rain showers into the overnight hours, even though a few thunder showers mixed in while along that cold front. But the second half of Tuesday, once the front is passed, will dry up significantly. We'll even see some sunshine for the second half of Tuesday into Wednesday as well. Our temperatures overnight dropping down will be into the upper 30s for most overnight lows and then quickly warming up by lunchtime well into the 50s, mid and upper 60s for tomorrow's highs, maybe a 70 degree mark or two, and then holding on to mild temperatures into Tuesday, but then quickly dropping off towards Halloween, much colder. Tonight, 38 degrees, the low temperature, more clouds, chance for rain, it's possible. Tomorrow, 69, the high, warmer, our 100 Hanson's kid, six-year-old Adam from Lansing. In your seven day, rainy for Monday and Tuesday, much colder by Halloween and next weekend. Ha lows below freezing, highs in the 40s. Halloween night, I wouldn't be surprised. Chance for rain could actually turn into a little bit of snow. That dreaded four-letter S word, yeah, huh? Yeah, it is. I guess it has to come sooner. Eventually. <laughs> Thanks, Doug.